Okay, um, please reach into your drawer and get out your first Bridge to Terabithia packet pages. You'll get one of these every few chapters, um, so pay attention when you're asked to get a new one. Okay, and we will be adding them to your reading notebook as we go as well. So you'll do that with me at my station and, and I'll guide you through that. Okay, so please make sure that you put your name on the top of your Bridgeship Terabithia packet pages so we know that they're yours. So hit pause and take care of that. Okay, um, you are not going to be doing every single question, every single page right now. Um, so you're gonna wanna really pay attention and listen to directions, hit pause, and do um, whatever it is that I ask you to do. That way you don't do something that you're not supposed to do or not do something that you are supposed to do. That way you do exactly what you need to do. So the first thing that I want you to do is the predict box on the first page. It's the predict box on the first page. So where you see predict on the first page. The box says, based on what you've read and what you know, what do you think will happen next? What clues helped you to think about what will happen next? Is your prediction logical? So tell me what you think will happen next, why you think that, what happened that made you think that, and does your prediction make sense? Um, so if you were to say something like, next I think, um, Jess is going to um, win the lottery or become the President of the United States. Um, that would not be a logical prediction because nothing in the text has made you, has, has led you towards that kind of thing. So make sure that your prediction is logical. Okay, so go ahead and hit pause and write in your prediction into the predict box. Okay. Next, um, we are going to do the visualize box. So right next to the predict box, we are going to do the visualize box. Okay, so you should have already done the predict box. Next, we're going to do the visualize box. So this box says, choose a scene from the reading that you were able to visualize clearly in your head. Using your own words, describe it in the space below. So think about something that we read and describe that scene, then what it looks like in your own head. So you might describe the scene where they're sitting at the kitchen table. You might describe the scene where Jess is running in the field. You might describe the scene where Jess is picking beans. You might describe the scene where Jess is talking to Maybelle in the morning. There's many different places that our characters go and I want you to kind of describe that scene and what it looked like for you inside your head. Okay, so hit pause and complete the visualize box. Complete the visualize box. Okay, and if you're back now, we are going to look at the connect box. So we're looking at the connect box. Connect. So on the connect box, it says make a text to text, text to self, or text to world connection. Explain it in the space below. So tell me if, if um, this book reminds you of another book that you've read, that would be a text to text connection. Or if there's something in this book that reminds you of something that goes on in your own life, and that would be text to self. Um, for instance, um, my text to self connection with this book is the whiny sisters and I have an older sister who at times could be very very whiny and so I could definitely make a text to self connection and that I, I can relate with Jess um, and that throughout my childhood sometimes I wished my sister would stop whining um, I also could make a connection with um, the grits I love grits and they're eating grits and I think that grits is really yummy um, a text to text. Um, so far in this chapter, I really can't think of another book that this book reminds me of, but maybe you have read something that it reminds you of. Um, so think of any text to text or text to self comparisons, things that were the same to you, and write that in the connect box. And next, I want you to flip forward 
to the first, it's just the next page, the first template for writing an effective summary. So it's the next page, template for writing an effective summary. Okay, write the main idea of this chapter. What, what do you think the main idea was? Who was in this chapter? When? So about what time period do you think this was? And where? Where are we? You might not know exactly where we are, but um, you know you're at a house, maybe out in the country. So get as detailed as you can. And then why? And then I want you to write a rough summary of what happens in this chapter. Tell me from beginning to end what happens. And your summary is going to be a few sentences. You cannot write a good summary in one sentence. You probably need about five. So give me the big main idea of, this, of the chapter who, when, where, why, and the summary. We will talk through these when you get to my station. We will talk through these when you get to my station and share our ideas. Okay. And then if you have any extra time, you could get on Raskits or you could get on Lexia, okay? All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.